Today, I have a Ford Mustang Mach-E, all right? And in this Ford Mustang Mach-E, I'm going to show you how to operate the headlights. I'm going to show you how to turn on and off the headlights. I'm going to show you how to turn on and off the parking lights, how to turn on and off the automatic lights, okay? I'm going to show you how to do that, okay? Uh, so stay tuned. I'm going to go over that. I'm going to show you how to turn on the high beam headlights. I'm going to show you how to turn off the high beam headlights. So a lot to cover in the, this video. All right. So we're going to get started with that. And but before we get started with that, if you find my video helpful during the duration of this video in any way, can you please give me a thumbs up as well as subscribe to my channel? I'll appreciate it tremendously. Thanks a lot. All right, so sitting behind the steering wheel of this Ford Mach-E, I'm going to show you where the, uh, the switches are for turning on the headlights. If you look through here, the steering wheel, you look at this lever right here, this is only part of the headlights, and we're gonna get to that momentarily, okay? But before, I'm gonna show you how where the main buttons are for this. And so what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to go beneath the steering wheel, and do you see this right here? This knob right here is a knob for uh, turn controlling the headlights. Currently, it is in the auto setting. Now, the auto setting, a lot of people keep it there because they don't have to think about when they have need to turn the headlights on or off. They can just get in the car and drive. If it's dark outside, the vehicle will turn on the headlights. If it's light outside, it will turn off the headlights. If it is, uh, you know, you, you turn off your car and you're, you know, you go in, you don't have to worry about turning off your headlights because it's going to do it for you. Okay. So you don't drain your battery. So it is right now. It's currently in the auto feature indicative with that orange light right there, right next to the auto. Now, if you want a little bit more manual control and get out of the automo automatic settings, you can do that okay so we're going to start off by turning the headlights off altogether. that means no auto no manual on uh no parking lights okay so what i'm going to do is i'm going to take this knob and i'm going to go all the way right here you see right here when this light is lined up with this circle that's indicative that the headlights are off when i go down one this light right over here next to the parking next to that symbol right there, that is indicative that that is the parking lights are on. If I go down one notch, that is indicative that the automatic headlights are on. And if I go down one more, it is indicative that the headlights are on right here. The, the, the normal headlights are on right here. Now I'm going to go over uh, the bright headlights or the high beam headlights but before I go do that do you see how I was switching back and forth like this if you look up on the instrument panel right here if you look up on the instrument panel you'll see that when I turn the knob it is gives an indication of what is on so I just turned it once all right see I'm down here you go right here it's off right if it's off it says switch is off, light switch is off. Now turn one notch to the right. That's the parking lamps or the parking lights are on right here. All right, if I turn it one more to automatic, remember automatic, we talked about that, right? Or did you forget? No, I think you remembered. Turn it one more notch, it goes to automatic lamp right here. All right, so and I turn it one more, it goes to the headlights are on. Light switch headlamps are on right here. So it shows you on the instrument panel, which is really helpful. Now, I promised you I talk about the high beam headlights or the bright headlights. In order to do that, the headlights are on right here. Now, if you remember that switch that we talked about in the beginning, the lever, the clever lever, right? Right here, okay? So if you want to flash your bright headlights, sometimes people do that to get someone's attention. I don't recommend it, but people do it. You take this lever and you pull it towards you and it flashes. You can't see because it's bright outside, but the high beam headlights are flashing. An indication of that is that you'll see that blue lamp on the instrument panel when I pull it back. So watch this. See that? I'm pulling it. It, it comes on. All right. And when I release it, the high beam headlights turns off. All right. Just like that. Now, to turn on the high beam headlights, not just flashing someone, you see I have the headlights on down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and 
press it. And do you see that? I pressed it and it is the high beam headlights are on. Now it has to, the headlights have to be on. Do you see it right here? I have it manually on. All right, the high beam headlights are on. Now with the auto feature, so you have an auto, I can't turn on the high beam headlights because I believe that it does it automatically when the automatic setting is on right here. And if I have it in parking, parking, you see I have a parking lights right here. I can't turn on the high beam headlights in that situation. So the only situation where I can turn on the high beam headlights manually is by having it in this right here and taking the lever and pressing it like that. And remember to turn it off. I am going to pull it just like that. Now, as a bonus, I'm going to show you I'm going to show, as a bonus to this video, I'm going to show you how to illuminate this instrument panel and to dim it, all right? So right here is the instrument panel. Sometimes you want it brighter, sometimes you want it dimmer. In order to do that, you just come back over here to this light switch right here. You see this right down here? This right here, this is how you dim the instrument panel, but keep on pressing this. And the instrument panel will dim. You press this, the instrument panel will brighten. All right, and if you look on the dashboard or the instrument panel itself, if I press the bottom button, look at it. It shows it right here. The brightness level is going down. If I press the plus, the brightness level is going up. So I can adjust it using that button down here. And I can know how, how bright it is by either seeing how bright it is or seeing where it is on this right here. All right, so I can go ahead and subtract it goes down dimmer and brighter and this is more noticeable during the daytime when it is not so or in the nighttime when it's not so bright outside or say for instance you're in your garage or something all right so that is how you operate the headlights on a ford maki -E, this particular ford Mach e i hope this video was helpful i hope you can see your way while you're driving now and not waste your battery. All right, so I went over that. So all the lights right here, I went over that. So I went over the switches, all of this right here. So keep that in mind when you're driving that it's on this side, this left-hand side, and you'll be all good. So that is how you operate the headlights on the Ford Mach-E right here. I believe this is a 23 right here. All right, so I hope this was helpful. I hope you like this video, and thanks a lot for watching. Have a good one.